Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. ZNS Northern Service introducing a new radio talk show, The Front Porch, that will feature persons ages 75 years and older. The Grand Bahama Resilience Center Community Engagement Officer Jennifer, Jennifer rather, Barnaby says the idea came out of an outreach program they started back in March, reaching out to senior citizens during the pandemic. On a very regular basis, I would call in and talk with them and you know, I was mesmerized by their stories. They have, they, they have had so much to share. They have so much to share. Um, when they talk about, you know, what life was like when they were growing up, um, you know, how things have changed. And um, I thought, how can we allow these gems, I call them, to leave without sharing these stories? The, the, the reason for the name The Front Porch is that you know, as a little girl growing up, I remember, you know, we'd sit on the front porch or in the rest of the Caribbean, it might be called the veranda. And that's where we would hear Grammy tells us, tell the stories of times past and, you know, some of, share some of the songs. Now the show will feature senior citizens as old as 100. Co-host David Wallace says it is a pleasure to be a part of the new program. I've been involved with a program called Pearls of the Bahamas where I used to interview people 75 years or older. And so when they called and asked about rekindling the, the spirit of talking to these people, it was a pleasure for me. In that, like, oh, um, I think we, we get to find out this true story about these unsung heroes, just ordinary Bahamians who might have never made the front page of a newspaper or the headline story uh, on a ZNS, but who would have raised some wonderful children, given back to their community, served with distinction. And so for us to highlight them, it is certainly a pleasure for me. Now we invite you to tune in on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. on ZNS 810 AM radio for The Front Porch. If you are interested in appearing as a guest on the show, contact the GB Resilience Center at telephone number 602-5118 or barnaby at 814-4523. Community leaders making an impact today as they visited a local primary school in the Western District. They are hoping that their presentations will assist the youngsters when choosing a career. Jamila Mizek reports. It was an exciting day for students at the Bartlett Hill Primary School as they celebrated Career Day. The youngsters were dressed in uniforms depicting their future career goals. Preschool coordinator, Roberta Stubbs. We recently covered a unit on community helpers, and so today we decided to do a career day for the students to conclude our unit. Normally, we would take them out into the community to visit the various community helpers, but because of the pandemic and COVID-19, that's not possible. So we reached out to the Royal Bahamas Police Force and the dental staff at 8 Mile Rock Clinic, and they were more than happy to come out and give the students a first-hand look at what it takes to work in their fields. Guest presenter, dental hygienist Jeanette Green, sharing the importance of proper dental hygiene. It's very important, especially at this age, uh, to get them started on doing it properly uh, so that in the future they would not, uh, we can prevent a lot of problems um, and, you know, toothaches and, and so forth. Uh, so it's a pleasure for me to be here, you know, to let them know. It's a pleasure to teach the kids while they're young uh, what to do right and how to do it. Officer in charge of the 8 Mile Rock Division, Superintendent Walter Henderson, says it was a great opportunity to share what they do as police officers. We see this as a very uh, important role to play in their lives because you know most kids their parents only tell them most of them one side which is the police can lock you up and so most kids grow up being afraid and frightened of the police so we are here to take advantage of uh, situations like this to help to build a relationship so that that fair factor would not play a major role in their lives. Now the students also had an opportunity to interact with the police officers, the fire department giving a quick demonstration, and the future officers getting a chance to participate with the rapid response unit. Jamila Mizek, ZNS Network News.
Milanao, don't go away. We'll be right back after this break.